Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So Freddie Gibbs and Benny the Butcher's beef erupted into violence on Saturday, May 14th, when the ESGN rapper suffered a brutal beatdown at the hands of alleged associates of the Griselda representative. Footage of the altercation surfaced online on Monday, May 16th, showing Gibbs getting jumped by a crowd of people inside Dinosaur Barbecue Restaurant in Benny's hometown of Buffalo, New York. Rumors suggested Freddie Gibbs had his bunny rabbit chain snatched during the brawl, but he claims otherwise. In a video posted to Twitter by his girlfriend, Gibbs challenges his attackers to produce the stolen jewelry that you say that you got while copying new pieces inside a jewelry store. All the stolen jewelry, produce the stolen jewelry, and I'm here buying new sh with my baby mama child support money. You see it, bitch, blinky. Monday, May 16th, <laughs> the jewelry is here. Produce the stolen jewelry. rabbit. Produce the stolen Produce rabbit. the stolen jewelry that you say that you got. Gibbs' girlfriend doubled down on the rebuttal by tweeting, all that and y'all still didn't get his chains. In response to footage of the ambush posted by DJ Academics, another rival of the Gary, Indiana rapper. Speculation surrounding the stolen chain was sparked by an alleged text message from Freddie Gibbs that surfaced online on Monday. 20 dudes deep, this all they did, couldn't even take my ish. Read the text under two images of a bunny rabbit pendant. Tell them dudes come harder next time. In any case, Freddie Gibbs didn't escape from the altercation entirely unscathed. Photos from his concert at Buffalo's Town Ballroom on Saturday night show him sporting swollen eyes, partially covered by a ski mask. He was in town on his Space Rabbit tour. Despite forming a partnership on Frank Lucas and One Way Flight, Freddie Gibbs and Benny the Butcher's relationship soured in March when Benny said their collaborations came and went during an interview with Spotify Greenroom. From there, the former collaborators traded subliminal shots on social media, with Gibbs ridiculing Benny's Tana Talk 4 album and the Griselda MC claiming Freddie begged him to do a joint project together. He said working with Freddie Gibbs came and went. Man, I know some other shit that came and went to Just keep my name out your mouth, man, when y'all talking to people who are doing interviews. Just say next question, man. I don't want to talk about that, man. Just say next motherfucking question. For real. I'm about to say fuck this rap shit and just start talking shit about niggas uh, like Joe Budden. Shout out to him. Shout out to all the Joes. Shout out to Joe Fresh Goods. Joe Budden, Joe Rogan, let's get this money. Ultimately, the feud left Benny the Butcher a little confused. Saying this so like, I guess that, that put a tweet up or some weird shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I wouldn't know why he did that shit. Because okay. y'all was homies, right? I, that's what I thought. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.